Hey guys, how you doing? This is Rich from Rich TV Live, and it looks like we are green pre-market, and there is some news here from Kushko Holdings Inc. Kushko Holdings forms advisory board to guide strategic growth initiatives. This is a company that I really like, and I still think they're grossly undervalued. Obviously located in America, KSHB on the OTCQB exchange. Kushko or the company, the parent company or innovative industry leaders such as Kush Supply Co., Kush Energy, the Hybrid Creative and Colito Packaging Solutions, which provide a range of services and products for a variety of industry, including the regulated cannabis and CBD industries. Today announced it has formed a new advisory board to provide strategic advice and expertise to help accelerate growth, management risk and enhance operational performance. It has three appoint. Its first three appointments are Matthew Morgan, an entrepreneur and business consultant with leadership experience in the cannabis and other CPG industries. Eric Smith, an industry veteran in the liquefied petroleum, liquefied petroleum gas industry, and Ali Jahangiri, a digital publishing pioneer who has established and grown several businesses. The advisory board. We'll have experts and influencers from various fields with diverse skills and networks related to the markets in which Kushko operates and will aid in advancing Kushko's strategy to become a leading provider of diverse range of products and services across several industry verticals, <coughs> excuse me, both in cannabis industry and beyond. Mr. Matthew Morgan is the co-founder of a variety of companies, including Reef Dispensaries, Slaps Underwear, Ignite Cannabis Co., Trike Companies, Bloom Dispensaries, and Green Axis Capital Corp., among others. Mr. Morgan began his business career as an early age in real estate in Montana and used his business savvy to start and grow a cannabis business into a 15,000 square foot operation in Montana, one of the largest. Mr. Morgan subsequently opened a chain of hydroponic stores in Arizona and acquired one of the limited and valuable cannabis business licenses in the state. Wow. This guy knows what he's doing. Mr. Morgan and his partner then started Bloom Dispensaries, a huge, huge industry company. Reef Dispensaries and Trike Industries. Reef Dispensaries currently run six retail locations, two manufacturing plants, and two laboratories in Nevada and Arizona with over four Hundred employees. Mr. Morgan now does consulting work with all over the globe for several different business ventures. Mr. Eric Smith has been actively involved in the LP gas industry since 1989 in both the private and public sectors. Currently, he is the director of education and code development for Nevada Board for the regulation of liquefied petroleum gas and was previously their chief inspector for 16 years. Mr. Smith was a firefighter for 11 years, is actively involved with the National Fire Protection Association, NFPA code development process, and currently serves on six NFPA technical committees that regulate the use of liquefied petroleum gas and special effects. Mr. Ali Jahangiri began his career practicing corporate securities law, but shifted his focus to digital publishing, where he pioneered a digital physician to patient and an attorney to client interactive platform that was acquired in 2009 and 2011, respectively. Mr. Jen Hangiri currently focuses most his professional efforts in the national, international investment immigration industry. Mr. Jen Hangiri serves as CEO of two industry leading online publication and conference series platforms, uglobal.com and eb5investors.com, as well as serves on the Loyola Law School Board of Directors and is a national board member and founding member of gennext.com, a nationwide organization dedicated to engaging pressing challenges facing future generations. He also serves on the Ubuntu Council for CTA OP Charlie's Theron Africa Outreach Program, which supports organizations through grant giving with a hands-on approach to prevent HIV. That is just amazing. Mr. Jen Jahangiri was also appointed by Governor Schwarzenegger in 2009 and 2010 Albibak to various California state boards and commissions. 
As we continue to expand the business forming a well-rounded advisory board will serve as an additional resource to guide our rapid growth. We plan to add more experts to the advisory board across a range of relevant industries over time to provide a diverse and complementary insights to the different areas of our business we service today, as well as how we will evolve in the future, said Nick Kovisic, Chief Executive Officer of Kushko. Mr. Morgan, Mr. Smith, and Mr. Janhangiri each bring a wealth of skills and experience to Kushko that will assist in positioning the company for sustained, accelerated growth, both within and expanding cannabis markets, as well as new markets as we are targeting. Together, they provide a diversified set of skills supported by strong networks that will help us navigate the challenges we face as a rapidly growing public company and help position help better position us to achieve our lofty goals. I look forward to their close involvement in the next phase of the company's evolution. Let's read a little bit here about Kushko Holdings Inc. Kushko Holdings Inc. on the OTCQB under the symbol KSHB is a parent company to a diverse group of business units that are transformative leaders across several industries. Kushko Holdings subsidiaries and brands provide exceptional customer service product quality, compliancy knowledge, and a local presence in serving its diverse customer base. Kushko Holdings brands include Kush Supply Co., a dynamic sales platform that is the nation's largest and most respected distributor of packaging, supplies, and accessories to the cannabis and CBD industry. I love this. Kush Industries, which provides ultra-pure hydrocarbon gases and solvents, Hybrid Creative, a premier creative design agency for clients across several industries, and Colito Packaging Solutions, the research and development arm driving intellectual property development and acquisitions. Founded in 2010, Kushko Holdings has now sold more than 1 billion units and regulatory services, more than 5,000 legally operated medical and adult use dispensaries. Growers and producers across North America, South America, and Europe, Kushko Holdings subsidiaries maintain facilities in five largest U.S. cannabis markets, as well as having local sales presence in every major U.S. cannabis market. Kushko Holdings strives to be the industry leader for responsible and compliant products and services in the legal cannabis and CBD industry. The company has been featured in media nationwide, including CNBC, Los Angeles Times, TheStreet.com, Entrepreneur, and Business Magazine, Inc. While Kushko Holdings provides products and solutions to customers in the cannabis and CBD industries, it has no direct involvement with the cannabis plant or any plant that contains THC or CBD. This is a company that is well positioned and you can go to www.richtvlive.com, get all the breaking news, find our feature videos, all the breaking news every single day in the cannabis sector and beyond, all the top tools I use every day for stocks. If we just want to find our secret stock picks group, hover over contact, go to our secret stock picks group, absolutely free. Join the conversation where you have a voice. Join us on Slack, Discord. Follow us on all social media. Absolutely free. And if we just quickly go to Trading View this morning. And we go to Charts. And if I type in Kushko, K-S-H-B. Let's take a look at Kushko. And wow. So they were up 7.76% yesterday. But well, let's take a look at their one-year chart. So they've been as high here as in the last year. They've been as high as $7.89. Currently at $6.25. Had a nice little bump here just recently. Wow. As early as November 2017, they're only at $2. So they went all the way from $2 to a high of, I guess they've been over 8 actually. And they're recently as low as... 391, that was a great buying opportunity, as low as 497, had a nice jump yesterday, now currently at 625. What do you think about this news? I think this is great news. Love this company. It's been a huge success so far. Love to know what you guys think. Now remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes. Do your due diligence, 
Do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about here on Rich TV Live. I love this company. Maybe wait for a little dip. Try to see if you can buy it in the red. But I think long term, they're going to be a huge player positioned in America, in all the major states. Let's go, champ. Please, guys, smash the like button if you like this video. Comment down below. Do you own Kushko Holdings, Inc.? If so, do you like it? Do you dislike it? What do you like about it? Comment down below. Holler at your boy. Remember, if you're not winning, you're not watching. We are up pre-market, big time. Planet 13 Holdings is up big. T God is up again. A lot of winners are up. We'll keep you updated. Thank you for watching. I love you guys. I'm out. Peace.